Good afternoon, gentlemen. It's a pretty Sunday morning. We're back out here on the farm, and I'm getting ready to shoot a uh, filtering video for y'all. But before I get everything set up, I just walked into my shop after not being out here on the farm for probably about a week, I guess. And I had some silver going in a bucket with a bubbler, and it kind of made a unique shape. And I'm always amazed at the that the way silver and gold does. Each time that it precipitates or comes out of solution, each crystal is different. It's sort of like a snowflake. No two ones are alike. No two reactions are the same. But this one sort of made a unique shape that I wanted to show y'all before I busted apart. And I'm not sure if I should call this a uh, silver mushroom or a silver jellyfish. But what's happened is I've left it for about the last week and it's built up a large mass slowly around the copper bar that I had cementing it in there. And if you can look, that is a five gallon bucket and it has just about choked it all off. I almost decided just to leave this thing to see how far it would go for how far it would go sake, but I need to bust it up so I can get my next video started and plus so this process here can finish. But this was just neat and I wanted to show it to y'all and it's funny how things in nature demonstrate the same patterns and to me this kind of looks like a mushroom. It's got the, the little clipped edges around it or it could be a jellyfish. It reminds me of a jellyfish in water. but. I'm going to say it looks more like a mushroom at this point. And in the middle there is my copper bar that I had cement and everything out of it. And then along the edges here you could see the mass. And you can't see it good on the camera but I took a flashlight earlier and I shined it down the side of that. So that is one just big continual mass of silver is what it is. And if you look in the back there, you can see some silver particles swirling around in the solution. And they look like bigger particles. Sometimes you have smaller particles, sometimes you have bigger particles. But these are almost like a metallic flake paint. Let me see if I can get down here and get you a little closer shot of what we're looking at here. But you can see it swirling around in the solution there. And them are just some real, real fine particles in there. But they're pure. You can't really see it. Maybe you can see right there where the light is reflecting at. But that's reflecting because of how bright and silvery that is. I'm not sure this camera really does it justice but that is just almost a pure silver coating on top and right here we have our copper bar that was cementing everything out and it appears we have a cave started there Let's see here, you can see the pure silver bubbling down in there. Well, I guess now I could call it a silver mushroom volcano because now it looks like it's got a volcano in the middle of it. But those are just pure silver crystals down in the bottom of that hole right there. Alright, and I'm fixing the bust this thing up here in just a minute because I need to get on with the rest of my video but I just thought that was something neat that I was going to show y'all it just um, it just never ceases to amaze me what precious metals will do I think that is part of the draw of why I'm a refiner well alright gentlemen I guess it's time for us to move on to our next video then, which will be filtering large solutions of gold filled and silver using the bounty filter technique. So I will see you gentlemen in just a few minutes.